Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hi, I'm Kevin again from Personal Tutor. Coming back to you with a very hilarious story called Mrs. Packletide's Tiger. My friends, if you've gone ahead and read this story in the English literature part of yours, you must have gone ahead and laughed your guts out. To be very precise, this story actually revolves around two ambitious lady and a cunning one. The first one is Mrs. Packletide. Now, giving about Mrs. Packletide, I'll give a brief notion of the character. Mrs. Packletide, a jealous lady, because of her neighbor's achievement, wants to go ahead and do something more emancipating and more energetic and more rigorous so that she gets more attention in the press, the media and the neighborhood. The next person is Luna Bimberton. Luna Bimberton too goes ahead and is a modest lady who keeps her choices to herself. She's not a good, she's not a good person with neighbors and an easy share. Easily hurt? Yes. Enthusiast? Yes. Yet she had a wit of not celebrating the joy of any other person. The third person is Miss Mebin, who was actually a paid companion of Mrs. Packleton's expedition. You'll come to know about her witty attitude in the brief that I go ahead and explain. The story goes ahead as Luna going ahead on a ride, 11 hour ride in an Armenian trooper and becoming a talk of the day overnight in the whole neighborhood and the town. Now Mrs. Packleton died, actually went ahead and felt this envious enough to not let her name be encouraged and spread out rather than the neighbor's name being spread out. Mrs. Packleton actually wanted her name to be spread among the name of the courageous and the famous ones. Thus she goes ahead and plots a fake hunt of a tiger. She finds the plot very fascinating by going ahead and paying the villagers thousand rupees and asking them to go ahead and arrange for an old weary tiger so that Mrs. Packletide could shoot him and become famous enough. To have somebody to go ahead and concrete this and, edif and give an edif evidence or edify the fact, she hired Miss Meblin, who was a paid companion, who would go ahead and justify her claim. My friends, a very funny thing happens during the story. The villagers plan the fake hunt just for the sake of thousand rupees. They actually go ahead and ask children to stand at the various exits of the village so that the tiger they have brought in the village cannot go out with the sudden shooing and cooing. They actually go ahead and ask the ladies to move out in the forest with their kids so that the safety occurs and they leave various goats in the various patches in the village so that the tiger gets an easy hunt. Now, while the tiger was approaching a goat, Mrs. Packletide shoots the tiger. Poor chap! <laughs> the shot hits the goat and the tiger passes away due to a cardiac arrest by the sound of the bullet. Here Mrs. Packletide goes ahead and grabs the opportunity to have taken the name of shooting a tiger who was actually creating a ruckus in the village. The villagers kept the fact to themselves for the sake of thousand rupees that they were going to receive. Whereas Miss Meblin actually went ahead and blackmailed Miss Packletide to go ahead and provide her or purchase her a holiday in a cottage for herself that she actually went ahead and named the wild lilies because she knew that if her name would go out she would be a joke of the day. Since the newspapers and everybody went ahead and published Mrs. Packletide's name, she threw a party in honor to go ahead and present the tiger claw as a brooch 
to the neighbor. The neighbor modestly denied attending the party in her honor. Rather, she accepted the claw. The main person here, we can hear the chapter closing up by Mrs. Faculty saying that these instances, the expenses for these such instances are quite expensive. She was referring not to the thousand rupees paid to the villagers, but the cost of the cottage that she had to purchase just for the sake to keep her name and give Miss Meblin a token of being quiet. I'll go ahead and explain a few question answers quickly for you here. The first question goes as, what do you think the story is all about? The story is about Mrs. Packletide's hilarious hunting expedition. The next question is, do you think she was successful in her mission? Although she went ahead and shot a goat, the tiger died of the cardiac arrest due to the sound of the bullet that actually hit the goat. Thus, in some way, the expedition was successful. Was, what is the tone of the story writer? The story writer's tone is quite humorous and sarcastic, my friends. What does it tell about her? Now, Mrs. Packletile is full of vanity, pompous, show, showmanship, and a lustrous lady. She actually goes ahead and enjoys the boisterousness in the society. Why did Mrs. Packletile want to kill a tiger? Now, since Luna Bimberton had recently travelled 11 kilometres non-stop, Mrs. Packletide wanted to gain something higher than her level. Thus, she went ahead and created a plan of shooting a tiger. Mrs. Packletide was a good shot. <laughs> Although Mrs. Packletide shot the goat, yet the tiger died. Yes, the notation here clearly depicts that the, according to the villagers, she was a good shot. What comment did Miss Meblin make after Mrs. Packletide had fired the shot? Why did Miss Meblin make this comment? How did Miss Packletide react to this comment? Miss Packletide, Miss Meblin brought to everybody's notice that Miss, Mrs. Packletide did not kill the tiger, yet no one go, went ahead and heard her since the villagers were more involved in the thousand rupees that they were going to get and Mrs. Faculteide went ahead and moved her aside since she knew that no one would believe her since she was a paid companion and not a trusted one. How did the villagers react to the tiger's death? The villagers weren't reactive. They were only bothered about their thousand rupees. Yet they were scared about the tiger dying before the expedition due to his old age. Do you think Mrs. Packletide was able to achieve her heart's desire? Although Mrs. Packletide did not shoot the tiger, she got the vanity and the fame that she was looking forward for by going ahead and surpassing Luna in her success. So in, a f in other words, we can say yes, Mrs. Packletide went ahead and grabbed the attention and she achieved what she wanted. How did Miss Meblin manage to get her weekend cottage? Why did she plant so many tiger lilies in a garden? Now, Louisa Meblin was a witty young lady. She went ahead and blackmailed Mrs. Packletide about spreading the news of her shooting the goat whilst the tiger dying due to the cardiac arrest. Now, she went ahead and even blackmailed her that she would be going ahead and spreading the story to the press and the newspapers. Mrs. Packletide went ahead and shut her mouth by offering a, a weekend cottage. Meblin went ahead and named her Tiger Lilies because this, would, this cottage would always go ahead and remind her about how she achieved the, the cottage in a fake tiger encounter. My friends, this was a brief idea about the hilarious chapter called Mrs. Packletide's Tiger in the standard 10th English literature. If you want to know more about us, just click the button about us. You can go ahead and contact us as well for the notes in a pen drive and online. Thank you very much. Signing off today, Kevin Lopez back again. See you lads later.